And we're back with more Incredible Hoax. I am Chris. I am Mark. And this is from the Man Cave post Super Bowl 50, what, 51? 51. 51, where the Patriots came back in historic fashion to beat the Atlanta Falcons. Yep. Initial thoughts. <laughs> uh, just historically, I just felt I was watching history. That's my first response. It's like, man, what a game that we're going to be talking about 20 years from now. I just felt like I was, I was really part of history watching this game because so many yeah. things that just never happened before happened. Uh, but, the, of course, the obvious is the big comeback, being 25 down in the third quarter and to overcome that, the first overtime, and then Brady leads them down to victory. It's just it's incredible. Falcons were great. Great, great, great. All you can say is you just have to hand it to the heart of a champion of the Patriots to just kind of that one play at a time and dig and will themselves back into that game. But the the Falcons, uh, uh, man, they had they had it, they had it. But that that one play I think is what turned it around was that sack fumble the Patriots Ryan. got on Matt Ryan. I think that was the momentum change. Because yeah. before that, I think the, the, the Falcons, were it was theirs to, to lose. And there's another series later in the game when they had the eight-point lead, and Atlanta gave up a bad sack and then a holding call, which should have been offset. Yeah, it was third and 33. Mask. So it ended up going from easy field goal range, possibly they're moving into score and converting into scoring. Yeah. To or touchdown I mean. And then uh, uh to a punt. That was a those two series were the death nail of the Falcons. May I be honest with you, it's it's it's, it's easy to go, okay, Brady Grace and talk about all the Brady Patriot stuff, but I I feel for the Falcons and the Falcons fans. I, I've as a lifelong Oilers Titans fan, I yeah. know your pain. Yeah. I'm very empathetic and sympathetic right now. Uh, I'm a. I was. We watched the Oilers give up the Bills. Uh, we were ahead to 35-3 or whatever it was, and gave yeah. up in the playoff game. And, yeah. and and what they did is worse because you did in the Super Bowl. So to give up that many points in the Super Bowl, the biggest game, and you had it and all that kind of good stuff. I'm. I'm I feel really bad for the right. Falcons fans, and right. um, you can't give Brady anything. You have to keep hammering Brady, and hammering Brady. And mm -hmm. like it's just, and then the uh, the uh, uh, Edelman with the uh, the catch that had a really bad night, except for that one return, he had a really bad night. Yeah, and then that crazy that catch, crazy catch off of the defender's foot. Uh, I mean, that's stuff you can't defend. It it literally is like this much off the ground, and yeah. crazy, and it's a catch. So, uh, my first thought is just I feel really bad for the Atlanta team and the Atlanta. Fan. They're better than this. They deserved better than this. Uh, if you lose, you lose. Yeah. But yeah. they I, they they aren't the team that. that I'm trying how how to word it. History is going to go down that they're blue. They blew this, but they were better than than this. On paper, it'll be like, well, you guys gave up a 25 one point lead or whatever it was. Right. But, but that really ain't what it was. It was. You know what I'm saying? Well. It, it, they were better than uh, than this, and I hate that history is going to remember this for only this. They played great. Yes. And what it's going to boil down to from now on, and this is what's going to kill Falcons, is 57 seconds left on the clock, and Weems decides to come out. And he did that more than once, right? And he did that several times, but Horrible. on that kickoff Horrible. return, take it at the 25, because you just need There's some three coach. points, and you win the game. All I can figure is a coach somewhere told him if he sees something go, and he was seeing it and he was going. I can't imagine. But he came out, and they get they start that final drive, and this is the last drive that they touch the ball yeah. on their own eight. And that's a big difference than your own 25. And that is what's going to kill Falcons fans for the next year, for sure. Well... Now, moving on from my sympathy to the Falcons, over to the Patriots. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. There, I said it. Yes, yes. Uh, Tom... Not my favorite. <laughs> favorite and greatest are not the same thing. Right. Uh, Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time, the greatest football player of all time. And I even have to say now, Coach Belichick, you are the greatest coach I've ever seen. And that's hard to say because I'm a huge Tom Landry fan. 
uh, and I have a, res a lot of respect for Vince Lombardi, so having to say somebody beats those two is really hard for me. <clears throat> but, but yeah, Bill Jack, you're the greatest. Now you see why all those years I always use favorite. It's that way I would never have these. Yeah. Now you, yeah. now you see why my favorite quarterback of all time is still Warren Moon. That will never change. That's why I use the word favorite. Yeah. But greatest, yeah, Tom Brady's. Until tell some some bitch comes up with six rings. Uh, well, Tom never, Brady's the greatest quarterback of all time. It, nobody, I can't imagine, at least right now, anyone being my replacing Emmett Smith as my favorite player of all time. It just, I, Emmett Smith played the way he played and what yeah. he meant to our franchise, the Cowboys. I just, I don't know how else to say. He just, he brought us pride. He brought us championships. Uh, and that game where he played the Giants with one arm, I mean, he was a legend. And I just always, you know, appreciate him for that. Uh, but, yeah, Patriots, five rings in 17 years? 17 years? Uh, 2001. Since, since 2001, so you're looking five at 16 rings. seasons. So that, that means they won a Super Bowl. Uh, seven Super Bowl appearances in uh, 16 seasons. A third of the time in that span-ish, give or take-ish. So, yeah, you got to give them their due. Uh, but I have to admit, uh, at the end of the game, it was anticlimactic because one, there was a. I felt the need of the review. The I thought his knee might have been down. It turned out right. it was just. It was very it close. Was close. He, he it was did close. score. Uh, it, but then again, it was also anticlimactic because it's like it's kind of like when Michael Jordan wins his fourth or fifth. It's kind of like well. Yeah. Won again, so it's kind of like they're all crying. And everything else, I'm like, what the. Dude, you've won five. It's yeah. kind of hard for me to be having an emotional reaction to this. Yeah. It's very hard for me to have an emotional reaction to this. When when the favorite ends up winning, but in an in an, uh, an unexpected way, it's still kind of yeah. climatic. I see what and, you're and saying. He, and even though it was a great come from behind, it didn't feel great. Because it's like, well, it's the same team winning that's... You've won five of these, so it's yeah. hard for me to get too jazzed. Even in the fashion that you did it. Yeah. It's just too hard. It's just hard for me to get too jazzed about it. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's like, well... Yeah. So, yeah, they won. Yeah, it's a great Super Bowl, but... Eh. In terms of entertainment value, it's, to me, it's, it was eh. <laughs> well, it really was. I mean... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like... Yeah, I, I hear you. I, I, um... I felt that way for two and a half quarters, but when they started... After they started scoring some points, I thought, well, okay, this is interesting. And I didn't... But I didn't... I totally didn't predict that he would come back. I just thought that would be interesting if he did. And then after that sack fumble, I just like, and then they scored that very drive. I like, oh my. It was an incredible game. Well, to me, incredible. it's like you're watching a battlefield and the really over, the orcs army, for instance, this is Laura Lee's example, with their millions of soldiers, yeah. kind of gets down a little bit. And they get this one little breach in their line. And you're like, oh, the orcs, wow, the orcs are got a breach in their line. Yeah. And they're like, oh, okay, with our overwhelming numbers, we just turn the tide again. And if you're watching that, like, from on a hill, you'd be like, oh, wow, the yeah. orcs have got a breach in their line. Yeah. Oh, two seconds later. Oh, no big deal. They've closed that up. Yeah. They're killing. They kill them all again. Or to take your so, analogy even further, it's almost like you know the orcs. Oh, they're beating us. Oh crap! And then you bring in the ghost army and they beat them like in two seconds. You're like, oh. Well, see, uh, as I'm saying, okay. it's like it, it's like you have. It's like, well, yeah, of Patriots, course the ghost army would win. The Patriots are like uh, the house in Casino. <laughs> like, oh, the Casino got down a little bit. Oh, well, the casino ultimately won. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's like, like big deal. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. They're the favorite. They've won five of these. It's hard for me to have some sort right. of emotional oh, yeah. moment with it. It's like it's right. not possible. Now the Cubs, <laughs> you know the World Series, the yeah, Cubs. They had oh won my in a god! Century, yeah. I'm not even a baseball fan, and I was like, oh my god! Yeah, that this never happens. Right, right. But the Patriots winning is like watching. <laughs> Like I said, it's like watching the house winning in blackjack in a casino. Yeah. Well, and and both my teams, they haven't won and one had ever won, and then the other hadn't uh, won in over twenty years and counting. So I was just kind of like, we did the math earlier. Remember, a, a child could have been conceived. It is now in the workforce since the last time uh, the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Yes. And and That's whole true. and whole generations have lived and died, and the Titans slash Oilers haven't won one. Yeah, so. that's sad. That's so anyway, you put it in that perspective, it's been a bit. 
hey, let's look forward to this next season. Yeah, exactly. Yay. All right, well, any more points for the 10-minute mark? Any more? Any more points. Commercials, do better, man. That sentimental stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. better next year. Could you just entertain and inform? Funny not... dogs and fu funny cats, if nothing else. Yeah, I don't like the whole political sappy entertainment. It was brilliant. Commercials, not, I don't think any commercial really grabbed me. F on commercials this year. Big F. And with that...